the second part says find the dimensional formula of surface tension the relation over here is given as s is equals to rho g r h upon 2 now we know there is no dimensions for this 2 which is in the denominator because it's a constant let's figure out the dimensions of rho g r h and substitute here to get the dimensions of the surface tension which is s now rho here is nothing but the density we know that the density is nothing but mass upon volume so dimensions of mass is m1 l0 t0 so it is m1 i am writing here and dimensions of volume is m0 l cube t0 so let's write it as dimensions of rho is nothing but dimensions of rho is m1 l minus 3 rho is density over here g is acceleration due to gravity and acceleration has a dimensions of l1 t minus 2 finally the dimensions of r which is the radius and h is also the length so the dimensions of this is m0 l1 t0 let's substitute all these in our expression to figure out the surface tension dimension so dimensions of surface tension will be equals to rho let's substitute the value of rho here that is uh, m1 l minus 3 multiplied with dimensions of g which is l1 t minus 2 and finally the dimensions of r and h so let's multiply them together so it will be l1 whole square why whole square because r is having a dimensions of l to the power 1 and h has a dimensions of l to the power 1 so when you multiply r and h you get l1 whole square this will give us m1 and the powers of l will be added up here it is minus 3 plus 1 and plus 2 because of this whole square so 2 plus 1 3 and minus 3 that will be 0 and finally t to the power minus 2 so this is the dimensions of surface tension m1 l0 t minus 